Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got an awesome front kitchen destination RV for you. This is the 2024 Hampton 388 FKL. And again, that FKL stands for front kitchen loft. So I think you guys are gonna love this. It has a beautiful, spacious front kitchen with residential appliances. You have four slides, two of which are dual opposing in the living room, creating a lot of rainy day space. You know, maybe when you're stuck in the camper or when you wanna watch a movie. You also have a fireplace, you know, with a good sized TV. And then you have a dual split loft up top, one side being a little bit larger than the other. So that way you can have, you know, maybe some additional storage, or if you got the grandkids or maybe that funkle down at the campground that just needs a place to crash. And then in the back, you do have the old drop frame construction. So that way you can keep the head height in the bedroom and you have a closet with washer and dryer prep. But there is a lot to love about this Hampton. On the exterior, you have the fiberglass with the aluminum frame construction, added insulation as well. So you can use this camper earlier in the spring and deeper into the fall. You know, depending on where you are, this could even be a year round, you know, fixture for you and your family. But again, this is the 2024 Hampton 388 FKL. Now all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, you can find down in the descriptions video and it should pop up on the screen. But I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button. If this one's not your style, the next one may be. I'm doing daily RV content and I would love to have your comments. Let me know what you think here about this front kitchen Hampton, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Show you off a couple of the stickers there if you wanna pause. I'm gonna start up in the front since, uh, since it is an old front kitchen model. I guess if you don't like the kitchen, I don't know if the rest of it will work for you, but there's a little sneak peek there of the living room. Loft up top, the other one on the other side, bathroom, bedroom, staircase. But boom, you flip it around and check out how massive this kitchen is. I love it. You get a ton of floor space right here, which is fantastic. I also think it looks pretty good. You got your neutral colors going on in the Hamptons. You know, a lot of brands are either going super, super light or really, really dark. And I like how this is kind of a mixture of both. I think there's a lot to like, you know, for everybody. And a lot of this reason why you get so much space to walk around is because over here where I'll start, you get a nice slide out. So the slide out is going to encompass a little bit of storage here underneath uh, the microwave. You also get this little ledge that you can see here, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, you can know, you can put up like a blender, you know, a little margarita machine, get things rocking down at the campground. You have the insignia microwave real residential style microwave right there. I mean, anytime you got a cheese mode or a butter mode, uh, you know you got yourself a good microwave on your hands. And then as we move it along here, you have a 20 cubic foot refrigerator and it's gonna be the residential style. So as you can see, it has plenty of room to pack away a week's worth of food, absolutely no problem. And then the freezer section to match it as well. Continuing on here, you're gonna notice you get a ton of countertop space. You get just enough storage to be dangerous, but you're gonna have just a ton of countertops in general. And that is absolutely fantastic. And I don't know if I mentioned yet, you do get the old solid surface countertop. So babe, if you're watching, I love you. I don't know if I did that twice because I've been going a little crazy. I tried doing that introduction, trying to add in more edits and um, done it like five times. So let me know how I do. I'm trying to get a little bit better and better and better. This oven, you get the four stovetop burner to whip up all the fixings. And then on the oven, boom, you got enough room to cook a turkey in that bad boy. Absolutely no problemo. And then you got a pull out drawer. This is gonna be the same on both right and left. And if you didn't see there, you are on the soft close. And then underneath, you get more storage you know, there as well. Up above, you have this stainless steel finish for the hood. So help suck out the steam or the stink from whatever you're cooking. And then you have storage again on both sides. And I love the backsplash that is in uh, the Hamptons, you know, as well. I just think it's a really nice little added touch. Yeah, it's really much to say about that. The windows up front, you can see they are big, they're tall. You do get uh, tinted, the middle one does open. Each one is also gonna come with the old Dracula shade. Stop the old skin from sizzling, keep some nosy eyes out. It's nice for temperature regulation. Uh, but then underneath them, you're going to see outlet, outlet, again, tons of countertop space, and then your farm style 
stainless steel bowl. So you're going to see a big old bowl. You got the little doodads right here for the drying rack that you can fold out. And then you have a high rise faucet hitting those dishes from all angles. Underneath, one more pull out drawer, storage, and then more storage and access to your plumbing there as well. So pretty nice kitchen. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Right here, you got the fan on, the vent open, which are going to be, you know, up here. And then speaking of which, while we are here, I'll zoom in on that. You got those new style uh, ACs, which is nice. So those things right there that are kind of curled and they're moving through, those actually push the air out at a better angle. And they say that it allows for about 15% more airflow too, which is pretty darn nice. I don't know about you, but in a camper, more airflow, less problems. So right here, you got this little divider, and this kind of helps break up the kitchen from the living room. I could totally imagine adding in a couple bar stools in a pinch if I needed to entertain a couple extra folks. But regardless, it's some extra storage too. I mean, my wife is someone that really likes to read, and I could imagine, you know, putting in a whole bunch of books right there, you know, or something else. Maybe even add in, you know, another little section, you know, to put some more stuff on. It also has a little outlet there too. Moving along, we're into our living room. And like I mentioned, you know, in that intro uh, that I'm trying to work on, the dual opposing slides. So you get a ton of space. You got your power theater seating, which is directly across from the TV. And on the theater seating, you get two cup holders and a little place right here. Bada bang. And these are also going to be the ones that are going to be on that quick recline. So it'll actually lay back, you know, relatively low. So if you want to, you can make that a sleeper recliner. If you're not someone that likes to sleep on the couch, take a snooze right there. I've napped on many of them just like it. And you're directly across from the TV in like a prime viewing area. You got a 50 inch TV, the Connex with the built in sound bar. You also have built in uh, power station right there. So that way you can just drop your phone right on it. And you have the Inaflame, which puts out 4,777 BTUs of heat. So in an RV this size, it'll heat up pretty much the entirety of this area, including going up into the loft. One thing that I do enjoy about the Hampton and part of Destination RVs where their appeal is to me is the slides are incredibly tall. So I am six feet tall. You know, you're going to see it's probably about what, six, four, six, five, something like that but it also opens you up to having these absolutely massive windows. You got an, uh, two USB ports over there as well. Again, they come with the Dracula shades and all three of them open up, including this one here. But you also get, you know, this sofa too. And this sofa is also going to be a sleeper sofa. So it'll open up comfortable place, you know, for two adults. So you can put two here and maybe the kids all up in the loft, flip it around. You're going to need a place to eat, need a place to play some cards, Maybe just enjoy a view on the campsite windows, but you have your table right there, two chairs on this side, an ottoman over here that also, or a bench rather, I guess, um, with some storage there up underneath. And then this little leaflet right there can pop up and extend it out. So if you want the extra room, you know, you got the extra room. Let's go ahead and keep on plugging around, give you one more little view of in here. So into the bathroom here, you notice you get a really nice size shower. And I am a pretty large dude. I mean, I'm 300 pounds, six feet tall, and getting into a lot of these showers is an absolute issue. And this one actually has plenty of room. You could probably sneak a second person in there if you wanted to get pretty crazy down at the campground. But you get the Tri-Glide Glass Series right here, so that way it can open up just a hair more. You know, kind of helps out with the old, with the wide bellies like me. You have a sink. And up top, you get the little medicine cabinet right there. And you can see just a little bit of a lip to help things from kind of moving along. You can also check out the old bowling gun, baby. I actually went bowling last night, first time in a while. But we got league starting back up, and I can't be that rusty. I went out there super excited. I bowled a, uh, it was a 209, my first game. And I was like, oh, man, it's like riding a bike. Then the second game was like 140, and then uh, 150. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Need some more practice. The old porcelain thrown a loony, the foot flush. You also have three little hanging doodads right there for your towels. And then you got one of the tallest. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny to look at. 
but you do get the, the fantastic fan up there to, again, help out suck out the steam or the stink. Pretty deep storage in here. And again, I've got pretty average size arms, but man, real good storage in there. I mean, you could pack away, you know, towels or even some, uh, some extra storage just using it for like, uh, you know, your stowaway items. There's the Max Air Fan Control. And you also have the Suburban on-demand hot water heater, which is really nice to have. So if you're not familiar with that, relatively new to the RV industry. It's been out for probably a year and a half, two years or so, uh, as far as like mainstream is concerned without ordering it. But it's nice because you can take pretty much unlimited hot showers and it, it works, you know, like that. This is going to be your control center, you know, for all your slides, your dual awnings, your lighting, uh, your gray tank, and then your water pump. And then right here is going to be your convenience center so you can check, you know, all the levels, see what's full, what's not full, yada, 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 you're good to go. You have the stairs leading up into the two different lofts. So this loft over here, not going to lie to you, it gets a little bit cramped. Uh, you're probably not finding me up on this size, but I'll tell you for the kids, you know, we have four kids at home and I could definitely see the two younger ones or even actually the three younger ones. Um, you know, it's going to be uh, 12, 9, and 2. Being up there, absolutely no problem. I don't think our 6 foot, 16 year old is going to be going in there. But over on this side, boom, you got plenty more head height. You also get a couple outlets and USBs over here. But I have just enough room to sit up where my head barely skims, you know, onto the ceiling. But you also have windows all up around here. And you also get a little area over to the left that creates a little bit more storage, maybe a place to drop a TV, you know, something of that nature. Underneath the loft on that drop that I was mentioning at the beginning. So there's your step. Goes into a pretty darn schnazzy, you know, bedroom here. So you got a really nice size bed. It's looking as sharp as ever. You have two reading lights. One is on, one is not. Another window, you know, hopefully for, you know, a good view, you know, or a nice breeze. Storage there underneath. Oh, look at there. There's uh, the stools for what I was talking about where stools uh, would be perfect to go. They already thought about it. Right here is going to be your closet with that washer and dryer prep. Plenty of place to hang up some clothing. And then right here, I kind of like this. I imagine sitting on the end of the bed and I feel like this would be plenty of room to where you know, you could use this as like a serviceable desk. I don't know for like a long term, but getting some homework done or getting a job done in a pen, sending out a couple emails, you know, absolutely. That's primo space right there. You also have the dressers you can pull out. More hanging closet right there. And then storage up here underneath. Flip it around. This is going to be your other entrance. So I like how there's one directly into the bedroom, but you're also going to see you have another place where you can mount up a TV. I would say probably about maybe a 40 inch or so would fit in there. No problem. And here's what I was talking about in the kitchen. You got the solid surface countertops in here. You have that hard wrap plastic and it's kind of that residential style. So you still don't have to worry about, you know, water or anything like that. It's also wrapped. More storage more storage. Let's go ahead and give you one more peek here around the inside and then we'll head around on the outside. If you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And drop a comment. I'm actively pursuing making these videos just a little bit better. So anything that you think I could do, you know, let me know. Look at that kitchen. Fantastic. And if I didn't show you before, I am six feet tall and you know, there's where my hands are going. I mean, you can see no risk of hitting the ceiling. Oh, I did forget to mention too, you are prepped up for the 4G uh, LTE wireless. So again, this is the 2024 Hampton 388R FKL. And the outside will be, you know, a little bit shorter because it's on like a fifth wheel. There's not too much, you know, crazy stuff to show like pass through storages or anything like that. But in case you miss it the first time around, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes down in the description. You're going to see you get two awnings, one right here and one right there. Nothing over that slide topper. I actually kind of like that because I think, or over the slide. I like that because I think you could probably put a slide topper on that if you want. I'm not sure if there's enough room, but it looks like you could squeak some in. Two marine grade exterior speakers. You do have the 
uh, the, the stabilizing jacks, which is a plus. Not all destination RVs have that, and but most of them, you know, are optional in general. You also got your hurricane tie downs. You have a tongue that looks like it is removable with those bolts right there. The steps to flip up. You also got a little leash latch that doubles up as a bottle opener right here. Extra large grab handle that flips on in. You got your tires. <coughs> Friction hinge door too, which is nice with your screen. And then you have your key TV. So you have your satellite and your cable along with two outlets here as well. Got your little blinker lights, city water connection, fresh water connection. You also have your black tank flush, which is really nice. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Here's gonna be where you plug in the camper and of course your outside shower. Underneath here is going to be your sewer connection. Underneath the bed storage. Here's your gray tank. Back end of that suburban hot water heater. But again, you get tinted windows, four slides. You can put slide toppers on top of these for sure. If you're not familiar with the slide topper, it's basically a piece of awning that goes from here to here and it prevents any debris from falling on the top, which is gonna really help, you know, the longevity of the camper in terms of, you know, any type of like leaking or anything like that, any issues, you know, with that. Underneath the front, you do notice you get a couple little LED lights just to make things a little bit easier, but I like how they made the front a little bit darker and then added in those big old windows. Oversized propane bottles, and then of course, place where you can crank up the tongue. Battery box for two if you'd like it. But I think that about wraps it up, guys. Again, this is the 2024 Hampton 388 FKL. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Take it easy. See you.